today we are going to talk about how we can create agents with Microsoft Copilot Studio. So, uh, first of all, I want to share with you that the demo I'm going to share with you right now is part uh, of a set of labs that we have uh, in the Copilot Developer Camp, which is a workshop uh, that we can deliver and a training that you can use to learn about how to extend uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot. The target are both makers and professional developers, and there are multiple pathways that you can uh, follow to learn uh, uh, how to extend Copilot based on your needs and your background. So uh, just to uh, give you an idea, these are the paths that we provide and whether you are a maker or a coder or maybe both, because most of us are both coder and makers, you can choose your right path. So if you want to be a maker, maybe you want to be a maker as an end user using Copilot Studio Agent Builder, or maybe you want to target not only Microsoft 365 Copilot, but also Teams and other channels, and you want to create agents uh, with the Microsoft Copilot Studio and as such, you will go for the MCS uh, path, or maybe you want to extend uh, SharePoint Online still with a, a maker approach, uh, creating SharePoint agents. On the other side, if you want to be a, a co it really depends on how you want to implement your extension for Copilot. If you want to rely on the native model provided by Microsoft 365 Copilot, you will go for the extend path and you will create a declarative agent. If you want to use your own model and all the stuff that Fabian was talking about, you will go for the custom engine agent for the path B. Today, we are going to see a lab and a demo which is related to the Copilot Studio uh, uh, series of uh, labs. This is the link uh, in case you want to uh, dig into uh, the Copilot Dev Camp and follow all of the learning path. And there is something which is upcoming. We are actually working on it. Uh, we are working on a challenge for all of you, for the whole community, so that you can learn. And while you learn, you can also earn badges and have community recognition for what you do. <clears throat> so be ready to uh, start completing uh, uh, every single pathway so that you will become an expert in extending Microsoft 365 Copilot. And if you will complete uh, one of the paths, you will get a blue belt. You know, I used to be a judo guy when I was young many, many years ago. So that's why we are using this metaphor. So blue belt, uh, if you complete one of the paths, uh, black belt, uh, if you complete all of the paths, and red belt, you will become a sensei. If you will complete complete all of the path and you will publish a community samples on the sample gallery. So again, as I said, working on it, stay tuned uh, and uh, hopefully soon we will make it possible for you to claim your badges. And of course you need to go through the path. And so now let's dig into the demo and let's see how we can create uh, an agent with Copilot Studio. So uh, first of all, let me switch here. And uh, uh, well, in order to properly work uh, with Copilot Studio, especially if you are in uh, a developer environment, uh, I would suggest you and advise you to first of all, go to the Power Platform Admin Center in order to be able to come here and to uh, manage your uh, Power Platform uh, uh, ecosystem and to create an environment, which is what I'm going you to advise to do. Uh, you will need uh, to be an admin, and if not, you will need to ask uh, to one of your colleagues uh, who has to be an admin of the Power Platform. But if you are in a developer tenant, you should be able to do that by yourself. You come here, you create a new environment, you create an environment which could be, for example, an environment uh, to run as a developer your solutions. And by creating an environment, all of the uh, labs, all of the stuff that you will do will be isolated in that specific environment so that you can freely play with it without, uh, uh, let me say, not without compromising any other stuff that you have uh, in your company. But again, if you are in a developer tenant, you should be uh, safe no matter what. Here, for example, I have uh, a Copilot Dev Camp uh, environment that I already created in my tenant. And what I want to show you today is how to create an agent to work with a set of resumes that I'm storing in a SharePoint online document library as a set of PDF documents. And as you can see right here, those PDF documents are stored and written in different languages and are about uh, uh, potential candidates with uh, uh, specific skills, uh, languages, uh, and professional 
professional experience. All of them have, all of the files have information about uh, one of the candidates that we need to evaluate. And I want to uh, show you how you can create an agent with Copilot Studio, which will help uh, uh, HR folks to uh, select the right candidates based on their resume. And as you can see, we can interact uh, with the agent providing uh, prompts like, for example, suggest me a candidate uh, who is suitable for Spanish speaking uh, and who has at least two years of experience with .NET. So the agent will go to my uh, knowledge base, my set of uh, PDF resumes, and extract the information about the candidates that are matching my criteria. The same could happen for different criteria, like for example, I want to have senior developers who can speak Japanese and have at least seven years of experience. And here again, we can see the output of the agent using a nice table to have an ordered output of the information I'm looking for. How can we do that using uh, uh, Copilot Studio? Well, uh, luckily that's quite easy. So you open Copilot Studio, so you go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com and if if you uh, have, haven't used it before, you will have uh, to activate eventually a trial license if you don't have a license on your tenant, or in the Copilot Dev Camp, uh, you will find uh, in the Make Path uh, additional information about how you can do the setup and what kind of uh, licenses you need and stuff like that. So I don't want to dig into that uh, topic right now, but you can go to the Copilot Camp and you can see what's needed in order to be able to play with. Uh, Copilot Studio in your tenant. So now here, of course, I already have my agent created, but let's say that I want to create it from scratch and then we will go back to the one that I already created uh, uh, later on. So you click on the create button and you choose to create a new agent or maybe you want to start from an already existing template. So once you uh, are done with that, uh, you can either use uh, a, a descriptive approach. So you simply describe what you're looking for and using uh, natural language processing, uh, uh, Copilot Studio will create the agent for you. Or you can skip to the configuration like I've done right now, and you can provide the information about your agent. So for example, here I can say that I want to create the candidate selector agent. I can provide a description like, for example, an agent helping HR people to find the best candidate for a specific role. And then I can provide what uh, is called here instruction, but it is actually uh, what we usually define as the system prompt. So here I declare that you are an agent helping the HR department to find the right candidate for a specific role based on a set resume written in multiple languages. Always provide reference to the resume documents, use professional tone, and always provide a list of items using tables. And in fact, have you seen, as you have seen before, the output was based on tables. And you like uh, using emojis where appropriate. And in fact, uh, while interacting with the agent right here, I was able to see emojis uh, in the output. Then if I'm targeting, and we will cover that uh, later in this demo, if you are targeting uh, <coughs> Microsoft 365 Copilot, and as such, you want to get this agent running in the UI of Microsoft 365 Copilot uh, uh, with chat, uh, then you will uh, be also able to define a set of starter prompts that will be uh, provided to the users to help them interact with your agent. And for sure, you will need a knowledge base, which is what we have in this document library right here. So let's say that I want to add a knowledge base. Now, when you create a knowledge base, you can choose between multiple options. You can have a public uh, set of public websites, SharePoint sites, or document libraries. You can even rely on Dataverse tables or additional data sources available uh, through uh, the uh, Power Platform. Right now, I'm going to use a SharePoint data source. Let me browse for the list of resumes that I have. And if I'm lucky enough, yes, it is the top one because it's the one that I used uh, recently. So here is my library with all of the resumes. I can confirm my selection. I should provide a meaningful description for my uh, data source in order to help the generative AI of uh, Copilot Studio to better understand when I'm looking for content which is available through this knowledge base that I'm defining. So here is say, this is a library with resumes resumes of candidates written in multiple languages. Could be even better, but you know, I'm a developer. I don't always have a good fantasy. And now I have defined the layout of my agent. Of course, you can also play with the icon of the agent and stuff like that. Let's create it. Now, 
Microsoft Copilot Studio is creating the agent for us. And soon we will see the uh, interface of Copilot Studio to manage additional settings for this agent. It will take a while to be ready. And you can see uh, that right here, the publish button is grayed out because it is still working on it and preparing the agent to be ready. But while it is working on it, we can already see that this agent is based on a description and on a set of instructions that we defined. We can eventually enable generative orchestration to use uh, a natural language to provide inputs to the agent and let the agent using Gen AI to better understand what we are looking for, what is the knowledge base we are looking for, or what are the uh, actions that we are looking for and that we want to execute. We have the knowledge base section where we can define all of the knowledge sources. So right now we have SharePoint, the one we defined, but again, we can add additional uh, data sources right here using this add knowledge button. We can eventually turn off the general knowledge that the uh, uh, AI will rely on by default. And if you just want to have your agent fully focused on your content, you can disable this option. And the only uh, uh, knowledge base that the agent will rely on will be the one that you define right here. We can define actions and triggers, topics that we are going to cover in the upcoming weeks, because as Beza said, this is one of a, a set of a series of uh, episodes that we are going to have, as well as we can define topics uh, to configure uh, interactions with the user based on single turn or multi turn interactions. And again, we will cover this topic uh, in one of the upcoming uh, uh, demos. Once you are ready with your agent, you can publish the agent. Publishing the agent will store the <coughs> settings and the information about the agent uh, into the uh, catalog of the agents that we have, but will not make it actually available in the uh, target environment. Actually, to make it uh, available, you need to choose one of the channels that Copilot Studio makes available for you. So you should go to the channels uh, tab and from here you can choose where you want to consume or to make your agent available and for example if you want to use it on teams as like as i was doing before right here in this demo well you can choose the teams plus microsoft 365 option which is something really new that uh, was introduced i think a couple of days ago no more than that and it was used to be it used to be teams now it is teams plus microsoft 365 because in fact, right now, if you click on this channel, you can enable the Teams channel and make your agent available as a kind of a bot in Teams. Of course, a smarter bot because it will rely on AI and not just on a predefined uh, interaction uh, uh, path. But you can also, with this new capability, the Plus Microsoft 365, you can also make the agent available in Microsoft 365 Copilot. So the same agent that you are creating right here, uh, targeting uh, Teams, it will also target uh, the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat, which is really interesting because you create the agent once and you can use it in multiple uh, uh, different scenarios. And that's what I've done here for our candidate selector in a different tenant because it takes a while to do the publishing and the uh, activation of a channel. So right here in my uh, tenant, which is just another tenant, uh, uh, almost like the previous one, I have my candidate selector, which is the agent uh, that I was showing you before. And as you can see, it is configured exactly like the one that I showed you before in action, and then that we built together. We still have the same kind of data sources, but I also defined a set of starter prompts, like list the candidates who are C-sharp developers, list the candidates who are SQL and T-SQL expert, and so on and so forth. And of course, you can edit these starter prompts by clicking on the pencil and saving uh, all of your changes. This agent, as I was telling you, has been made available through the Teams plus Microsoft 365 channel, including uh, the uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot option. And I published this agent in this tenant. And as such, when I come to uh, Copilot, I can find uh, this agent in the list of declarative agent that I have right here, those that I can create, for example, with the agent builder, 
or with uh, uh, Teams Toolkit uh, creating a declarative agent, or even using Copilot Studio, uh, the old way creating agents just uh, uh, targeting uh, uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot. But now this agent targets both Teams and Copilot at once. And here I can see I have my starter prompts, so I can start looking for candidates who are C-sharp developers, for example, and it should give me back the list of uh, candidates who have C sharp uh, in their resume as a skill that they uh, that they have. Takes a while, but we should be able to see the output. And here we are. We have three developers skilled with C sharp uh, expertise, and we can then play again with the uh, prompt that I used before in the other tenant to get a list of uh, uh, candidates who are speaking Spanish and who have at least two years of experience in .NET. Let's see what we get. And again. As like as before, we got emojis, we got data stored or presented in tables because that's what I asked for in my system prompt. And this is really uh, powerful because using Copilot Studio, you can easily make your uh, custom agents available inside the UI of Copilot as well as inside the UI of Teams uh, right here. And it is up to you to choose uh, what channels you want to target. And of course, using Copilot Studio, as I was telling you before, you can target Teams and Microsoft 365, but you can also target uh, many more channels so that, for example, you could host the same agent, for example, in a website and make it available uh, for the public web to customers of your company. And you can still uh, use the same uh, design logic. You can still build the agent the same way. The only difference will be that, will be that you will need to take care of the uh, security of the agent in a different way. And in fact, by default, if you click on settings in a agent built with uh, or made with Copilot Studio. In the security section, you have uh, by default the authentication of type uh, authenticate, authenticate with Microsoft, which is the default one. And since we uh, published this uh, agent in Teams and in Microsoft 365 Copilot, that's the only choice we have. But for a new agent that you are building from scratch, you can choose to have different authentication options, and maybe you want to make it available on multiple channels and not only on Teams. And Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. So plenty of options. Uh, and as I said, this is the starting point uh, to build agents. Uh, there will be upcoming episodes in the upcoming weeks where you will learn how to play with actions, uh, how to play with topics and with triggers. And uh, little by little, we will dig into all of the options you have uh, to build really powerful agents with Microsoft Copilot Studio. I think that's all for me too, Visa. So thank you, everyone, and back to you. Thank you.